So I recently just got a gaming chair, and honestly, I feel like it was worth it. What's popping, guys? I'm Thunder Killer Beast. If you're new to the channel, I make beat tutorials, music videos, all type of stuff dealing with music. So I'm pretty much just gonna review this chair and then make a beat at the end of this video with the chairs. So hopefully, I make a better beat because of the chair. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I feel very comfortable. I feel very confident, and I've pretty much been running this whole channel off this hard, really rough and uncomfortable chair. As you can see, I don't know where I got this chair from, but the metal is pretty much showing through the bottom of the, the chair. And I think it's safe to say, you know, I, I can invest into a new chair. So I did some research. I felt like this is one of the good chairs that is really worth it compared to other gaming chairs. And I'm always on camera. So I felt like, you know, I wanted to get, you know, something that looks actually really nice. So I ordered this chair off Amazon. There's a link in the description if you want to pick one up yourself. And honestly, I, it didn't take me that long to put together. You know, I would say it probably took me like 40 minutes to put together. Everything was pretty much super easy. I barely even watched the video tutorial video thing. All the screws were pretty much in the exact right place where they should be. And you just, you can literally unscrew it with your hands. And it came with literally all the tools to put it together. The hardest part about putting it together, I would say would have to be the back part connecting it to the bottom part. Honestly, it was kind of hard for me. I had to figure out which way to connect them and screw them in. But after you get that part, the rest is just super easy. You barely even need an instruction video to put it together. It's that simple. Like can't go wrong. But after I got it all together, sat in it for the first time, and yeah, I was amazed. This is, is well worth it. Um, one of the decision-making factors of me getting this chair was the armrest. You know, on other gaming chairs, you have this black plastic armrest thing, or maybe it's just a little bit softer than plastic. I've sat in chairs that have that type of setup where that armrest looks exactly like that. Honestly, like I never want to be in that position again because those armrests are annoying over time. And I mean, yeah, they're adjustable and stuff, Stuff like that but they get annoying over time and if you do get that chair you will have to get some type of padding on the armrest and stuff like that but i didn't want to do any of that this chair already had the padding on the armrest already so i felt like that was perfect and plus they got so many colors on there that you can get for your brand so another thing about the chair that i did not know it came with a massager now this thing pretty much sits at the back and you can see that in the b-rolls now the massager is, is more of like a vibrating thing it's not that loud so you know you could probably be online streaming or something like that i don't think anyone will really notice it because it's not that loud but it feels pretty good honestly you know it's, it vibrates it doesn't really massage but like i said when i bought it i didn't know it actually came with this and honestly i really don't even use this on the seat it's a little bit more uncomfortable when you have this on the seat your body's supposed to curve a little bit more you know what i'm saying and i don't got a curvy back but i mean it's soft you know what i'm saying it, it feels pretty soft you could probably use this as a footrest if you're not going to use it as a backrest so that's a pretty good idea and another reason why i really bought this here too is because it has the, the leg rest where you can prop your feet up and just be comfortable and lay back. So honestly, I feel like that's pretty perfect. Honestly, like you can't really ask for much. So if you guys have any questions about the chair, let me know in the comments. For all you music guys and music producers, I'm about to go ahead and make a beat with this chair. Also guys, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitch or anything like that, I do stream on there. You know, I play your music if you're interested in that. And I also make beats on there. I'm about to start doing that now. And just talk about news that's going on in music. You know what I'm saying? Why not? All right, so let's go ahead and make a hyper pop type beat you know what I'm saying shout out to Lil Uzi killing it with the hyper pop beats and if you made it this far and you're a music person hey go ahead and hit that subscribe button all right so uh, I really wanted to make a hyper pop beat so I understand a lot of those beats have a lot of arps and stuff like that so you know I came up with a few chords that I feel like you know will complement an arp if I had an arp but first I started out with a piano so let's hear it real quick uh this is the piano that I use these are the chords that I played So I feel like those are pretty good chords. I basically added that to an arp and let's hear it real quick. So here's the arp that I use and it was pretty easy to find. I basically went to like arp on Omnisphere and went to like, you know, the BPM sounds with like the flux and then, you know, probably like using Dreamlike, went through these sounds and look, you see, he walked us right there. Let me go ahead and give that a star because I felt like this is a good sound. But let's hear it real quick. So I felt like that was really good, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to, you know, slow it down and put some effects and stuff like that on it. So like I said, I slowed it down by using initial slow-mo and then I used this other effect on here, this initial reverse. Together it sounded like a great sound and this is what it sounded like.
So that's what it sounds like with the slow-mo, but when the reverse effect is on it, it changes it to a whole new sound. So I feel like we really getting in that, that rim where it's like a hyper pop type beat. You know what I'm saying? I took that same concept where I found that type of preset in Omnisphere and found another preset, which was a really good one that, you know, matched the hyper pop type of thing. And I also added an ARP to it. When I first had this preset, it didn't have an ARP to it. So I added one to it, played around with some of the settings. Also added a slow-mo effect to it, you know, just to make sure, you know, basically half timing it. And this is what it sounds like. So definitely on some, you know, EDM poppy type vibes. So next, I really wanted to add some more melodies to it, you know, so I added a lead in there, R&B triangle lead. I feel like this sounds really, you know, close to like a hyper pop type beat. Keep in mind, I'm not like a hyper pop type producer, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really experimenting with hyper pop. I'm really getting into it. So I'm not like certified hyper pop guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, so this is the melody that I played in that preset. So I took that same melody and added it to another preset to get me even closer to like that hyper pop sound. So I found this preset right here and it sounds really good. Let's hear it real quick. So I felt like that was straight, but I wanted to add an ARP to it. So here's the ARP. Um, like I said, I, pl I played around with some of these settings, um, made it into an ARP, and now this is what it sounds like. Mmm, that's perfect right there. Definitely sounds like a hyper pop vibe, you know what I mean? So I added that to it. And as far as the melody, that's pretty much it. Like, went straight to the drums. So here's the hi-hat in the beat. You know, I tried to keep it like, you know, 2021, you know, new type of hi-hats, you know what I'm saying? That would be in hyper pop type beats. So let's hear it real quick. So I thought that was dope, but I wanted to like spice it up a little bit. So I added some effect tricks to it and just turned it to a whole nother level. And now it sounds like this. Found a cool little clap in there out of like a hyper pop type kit. And then last but not least, I pretty much added an 808. And with all that together, the whole beat sounds like this. was able to help you honestly like i feel like this chair made me feel a little bit more confident just sitting in it and making beats and stuff like that i feel like if you guys have the money to get a gaming chair go ahead and get one uh this is like really good chair as far as like being comfortable i feel comfortable in it so i highly suggest you guys go get a new chair if you got if you have a bad one i don't know what kind of chair you guys are using right now let me know in the comments what kind of chair are you guys using but you guys stay safe i'll see you guys later peace